joining us today on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo. And I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Liz, it's hard to believe it's been one year since we were right here at Rancho Del Mar High School for graduation, but this year it's looking a little different. Things are looking up, definitely. We're very excited. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You did it, and you did it during a pandemic. That's true. Now, they still did have a drive-up graduation just like last year, but this year we saw students outside of the cars. Everybody was talking and kind of hanging out, so, so definitely looking up. It was very exciting being here for the Rancho Del Mar graduation mm -hmm. this year. Like you said, looking different. 24 graduates. That's right. Um, and very exciting. And I think the principal hit on the key word for all the students, and that is perseverance. You had to persevere. So let's take a look at the highlights of Rancho Del Mar graduation 2021. My name is Rick Lichardello. I'm the principal at Rancho Del Mar High School and welcome to our graduation today. Um, the theme of our graduation today, much like this year, is going to be success, survival and perseverance. Uh, what we're able to do today is have a celebration honoring our graduates and still maintain safety and protocols for the county in a way in which we could all get together and celebrate today. In order for this year to have happened, it's all about our staff. We have an amazing staff. Um, our teachers are phenomenal. We have great counseling and support. Our office manager, they all came together to make sure that we were able to meet the kids' needs every day on Zoom. And then when, when we were able to open up, we were able to have kids on campus. And that was exciting to bring kids back, at least for the short amount of time we were able to. But we got them on campus, and we did it as a team. So we did it as a Rancho family. Tell us a little more about Rancho Del Mar. What makes this unique, this school here in the district? What makes it unique is that we have a lot of different students that are here for a lot of different reasons. Um, whatever the reasons are, we can meet their needs on an individual basis, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we modify curriculum, we make sure that students experience success and that they achieve their goals, whatever those goals are. Some students come here to get back on track and then transfer back to one of the comprehensive high schools and some students want to graduate from here and that's great. We welcome all students because we know that we will give them success. All of them are shining stars today. They chose to do another drive-in graduation. That's what you did last year as an alternative. So how did this come together as a drive-in? It came together um, as a result of the staff meeting. Uh, we met with students and we kind of got their input and we wanted to come up with a way in which we can celebrate kids, celebrate their successes, as well as maintain safety. Um, and just have a great day for them. And though this is how we thought we could do that best. This means like so much to me. I'm graduating a year early. So this is like such an incredible thing. I definitely did not see myself here a year ago. So um, this is just so exciting. As valedictorian, what will be your message to the students today? Um, my message will just be to continue this kind of resilience and determination on to our next steps in life. This is really exciting. I'm here with the Mendoza family. Congratulations on graduating. I love Thank that you. you brought Bubbles. Mom, you let her come with her dog. Yeah, that was kind of an accident. I was yelling like, let's go, let's go. And then she hopped in the car and Ariana was like, she's coming with me. She takes her everywhere. So she I know, went on Ariana, stage. You mentioned that it was important to bring your dog because she's mm -hmm. been through with this through you. It hasn't been easy this year with the pandemic. No. Talk about that, like to get to this point. Um, there's definitely been some challenges. <laughs> And you're excited for today. What is being here, being part of the class of 2021 mm -hmm. at Rancho, like what did that mean to you? What would you want to say to your fellow students today that you all got here? Congratulations. <laughs> well, you're sitting here now, your tassel hanging, glistening yes. in the sun, you're outdoor at a drive-in graduation, yes. right? Who would have thought? When you see yeah. all this playing out, what do you feel like? <laughs> it's, it's different. <laughs> wouldn't expect it two years ago. I think I'm outside, no mask, walking the stage, but Corona hit and it's way different now. But yeah. And what's your message to your fellow classmates that are, might be watching this? Mm. What's your graduation message? What, what Graduation what you message. Just keep, <laughs> just keep working hard and just going at it. Never stop. I'm excited just to finally be officially like done with high school. Because um, I technically graduated early. Um, but it's nice to finally like get the diploma to finally, you know, get to have the ceremony. And how about being in a drive-in in the car? What you <laughs> That's a little odd to me. Yeah. <laughs> What's your message to the class and your brother up in the front? We're going to interview him next. <laughs> this has been a really interesting year and you know glad we all made it through to the end and everything's getting back to normal. I gotta say it it feels kind of nice 
just to finally be able to see this, it's like four years of work. We're fi finally seeing all the, the end, the result of all that effort that we've been putting in this these years. So I gotta say, it feels pretty good. And what makes Rancho special, you guys? This is. A I it's it's definitely the way the classes are organized, because they're not so much uh, what normal schools do. They offer you to get all the work done as fast as you can, and as well as you can. And if you ever need any help, teachers are always there willing to help you out with anything you need. Talk about, since you've been with the school for so many years and you help coordinate all this, to see the drive-in now, second year in Euro, what are your thoughts and what these kids are experiencing? Uh, the, the all, I think they're experiencing a lot of hope for the future. Everybody graduated. We always have a graduating class with everybody graduates. We haven't left one child behind in the 23 years that I've been here. And that's the success of what Rancho Del Mar does. Everybody finds their place at Rancho, whether they're in the arts or they're in music or they just want to chill out, you know, the way they are. It's, it's a place for everyone. There's no cliques, there's no groups. Everybody's friendly, we're a family. And that's what we call it, the Rancho Del Mar family. The message to this class is they went through a defining point in history with this pandemic and they came out on the other side and I am so impressed and so proud of them and the lessons that they learned through this they will carry with them the rest of their lives and what I really hope that they take away from this is how important it is to be able to hug a friend, to go out for dinner with your family, to be able to enjoy those little things in life. You know, we are never guaranteed of reaching the destination that we want, so we have to enjoy the journey. So I really hope our graduates set their goals, reach their goals, but enjoy the journey along the way. Well, Liz, you think you've seen just about everything, but one of the students that you interviewed even had a dog. Yes, the student, you know what, dog. Maria? Her dog was, was Bubbles, and what she said is that this dog has survived the school year with her. You know, it wasn't easy. You know, it was her support animal. There you and go. And she felt like he deserved to be up there just like she did. So, you know, again, congratulations. These students were terrific. They were. Now, I know we're going to travel off to our, you're going to be at yes. Peninsula High School. That's right. I'll be at Peninsula, you'll be at PV High, and they will be the the old-fashioned sit-out-in-the-hot-sun graduations a little bit later, but I know the students are very excited for that. And I know, Maria, school's mm -hmm. off for summer, but I have one pop quiz for you. Okay. And that is, tell us the name of all three mascots at all three high schools in the Palos Verdes District. Okay, well, so Peninsula High would be the Panthers. PV High would be the Sea Kings, and right here at Rancho Del Mar, probably the bird of Rancho Palos Verdes is the peacock. You got it, the peacock. I didn't know that. I asked the, some of the students what their mascot was, and, uh, and of course with that, I think we should tell all these students to fly their wings and soar. So. <laughs> exactly <laughs> and I think right. we're going to fly our wings and head off. We are. All right, Liz, so you will be at Palos Verdes High School, so enjoy all of that over there, and I'll catch up a little bit later in the show at Peninsula. All right, it's always great to be with you and you covering well. a special day for all in our community to celebrate. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Around the Peninsula. We are celebrating 2021 graduation day here on the peninsula at Palos Verdes High School with the Sea Kings. Go Sea Kings. So much here to celebrate today. I'm Dr. Alan Tyner. I'm the principal here at Palos Verdes High School and I'd like to say welcome to the 2021 Palos Verdes High School graduation. And we're going to be out on our stadium announcing all our graduates and hearing some speeches. It's going to be a great time. What's your message to the kids today, to the students? Well, just again, you know, they are so resilient, and that's going to be something that I talk about in my speech is that, that their resilience is really going to carry them through life. Um, this was an extremely tough situation, um, but our kids worked hard and fought through to the, to, to the very end, whether it was in the classroom or, or for athletics or extracurriculars, and they just did an amazing job. It's really nice and exciting to be graduating in person because last year they got the drive through, so that's what I was like kind of expecting. So it's really nice that we get to do something on the field and it's different from Seeking Park but at least it's something. 
So, yeah. What was it like for you being being a sea king? Some of the highlights for you going to school here. You got a lot of chords going oh. on. You're a busy girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was just really nice to be with friends this year, especially after everything that happened, and just being able to see people in person and hang out and just catch up. Tell me about all the chords you have on. You have a lot. Um, some of them are from honor societies. Others are from ASB, uh, Val Victorian Scholar Athlete. You did it all. Yeah, How did you manage all that? And doing it by Zoom, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I just tried to stay really organized with it all. Yeah, it was hard, but it was worth it in the end, and I'm super excited for today. And what, um, what's, what are your plans for the future? Um, I'm going to TCU, Texas Christian University next year and that's pretty much it for my plans. And what's it going to be like leaving your Sea King family? I had two PV Sea It'll Kings. It'll be super sad but I'm excited for what's next and a lot of my friends are going to be in the Texas area so that'll be really fun to visit them. Well congratulations. Any Thank you. Any message to your friends graduating today? Um, message? <laughs> um, go Sea Kings. Exciting. You will be speaking to the class of 2021. What's going to be your message? Tell us about what you're going to talk about. Um, I'm basically just going to talk about our transitioning years in high school and how from freshman to senior year we have all matured as a class and I think um, I'll touch on COVID a little bit and how that helped us mature. I was um, senior class vice president so I was in ASB. I was in uh, Open Orchard Productions which is a podcasting group, speech and debate, uh, surf team, soccer team, varsity captain. Um, I was in... Los Hermanos, which is a volunteering group, uh, you lots are on of the different A -team. things. I just want to say thank you for everyone for the constant support, and um, I'm going to be attending San Diego State this fall. So this graduation, first of all, I think it's special that we are live and in person. Last year we did a drive-through graduation, and while it was great and amazing, and the kids had a blast, um, they really wanted to be together. So I think that being together and being on um, our football field together as a Sea King family is what's really gonna make this year special because we've had a rough year and to celebrate the finality of it together is what's really gonna be great. What's your message to the class of 2021? You work with these kids day in and day out. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> um, my message to these kids is you have survived a pandemic. You have had a year of online learning and yet we were able to come back and you embraced it and you took what we could get and enjoyed every second of what we were able to give you as a senior year and um, you're going to go on and do amazing things in this world and because you've just got tenacity and determination and spirit and we love you and we're going to miss you. And I know you're very instrumental in having all the coordination. A lot is going into having this on the football field which is the first time out here to have a graduation to give us a little play by play of what it took to put this together today. So so it is the first time we've ever had it on our football field. So it is a lot of moving pieces. We have never done it on the football field before. So we had to hire an entirely new sound and um, audio company. There is going to be a live stream available. There is a huge jumbotron. It looks like we're hosting a concert here. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. was it today to wake up and think I'm graduating and get ready for today? Uh, I was more nervous than excited because it's kind of bittersweet because it's been four years and it's gone by really fast but I'm really excited to have everybody here in person this Especially year. Especially in person. What has what the year, your senior year been like for you? Uh, I spent the entire year online. I didn't come back to school so it's been really good for these past like month to do all of the events together with all of my friends and stuff before we leave. So what kinds of activities you've been able to do in person now to make you feel like this is a year to celebrate? Uh, I went to the football game in the basketball games and the prom and homecoming and Project Runway, all of the events that we've held this year I've gone to, so I'm really excited so about that. You feel like the effort was there to kind of bring things back to normal? Yeah, I feel like a lot more people attended the events because we knew it would, it would like be our last time before we were going to college. So, one highlight of your senior year you can share? Um, definitely prom. It was super fun, and I'm, that was like our first big event where we were all back together, so it was a really great time. What did you love about being a Sea King? Uh... Just like a family type of thing. 
and I'm glad I picked this school. So, Give us a play-by-play -play of your day. You woke up, you knew I'm graduating today, so kind of walk us through. You're all set up here, looking uh, good. Just, just feeling happy. We had like rehearsals at 10 o'clock this morning, so we were all at the school and stuff. So I was just in a happy mood all day, and then I just got ready. And you're going to be even happier. What's it going to mean to you to grab that diploma very soon? <laughs> oh, it feels great, yeah. It's a good uh, milestone in life, so. And what are you doing next? More. What's uh, happening next for you? Playing football at OCO. All right. You know, it sounds like such a cliche to say that this class persevered and this class was resilient, but these kids really, really were. They worked so hard uh, to get back in class in school, in person, for those who wanted to do that, for those who chose to stay home and be with their families and continue learning online, that was great for them too. But they really worked hard. They got into the colleges they wanted, whether they're going to the East Coast or going locally to El Camino College. They've all worked so hard and they really, really just need to take a moment and appreciate and enjoy today with friends and family. I think to myself, what a How does it feel to have graduated class of 2021? You did it. Feels really good. Um, I know this past year was like really crazy, but it's nice to be able to have like a regular celebration. Well, you guys are the first to graduate on this field, new tradition, and uh, having your whole family here, what does that mean to you? Um, it means everything to me to have my family here with me. Like they're the ones who've been supporting me like throughout my whole life, really. And so so excited. This is the, uh, this is our first, my first born. I'm so excited, my son, for him to uh, graduate here. He's a great kid. He may not have made straight A's, but he has been uh, voted by his peers in different programs as the most caring and compassionate kid in the Avin program and the soccer pro program. Go, come on! I'm going to El Camino Community College in Torrance, and I hope to transfer to any place I choose. I'm very proud of him. He's planning on becoming a geologist, so. Wow, we'll we see. got a job for you. Oh, it's, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. <laughs> I looked forward to this day, you know, and come out here. And um, I like to jog on this field. And I thought, you know, someday I'm going to come here and actually and watch my uh, watch my uh, oldest uh, kid here graduate. It's, uh, a field it's a of dreams. Feeling. Right? Caps off to the graduating class of 2021. These Sea Kings are going places. In fact, they've been accepted at more than 300 colleges and universities around the country and the world and have received more than $20 million in scholarships. Way to go, Sea Kings. Congratulations. And now we're going to travel over to Peninsula High School and join Maria Soreo as our graduation special continues on Around the Peninsula. Well, as you can see, there are about 600 students behind me gathering. They're getting ready to graduate right here at Peninsula High School, class of 2021. We caught up with the students and the staff, and here's what they had to say. It is absolutely amazing. Um, we had a rehearsal this morning, and I told the students, I go, this is the first time we've had this many students here in one space all together, and they were ecstatic. Um, it's so exciting to have everyone back together on campus. We're taking a huge step forward to getting back to normal, and I know uh, everyone's ready for it to happen right now, so, so we're good. How large is this graduating class? This graduating class is about 600 students. By the time our event's over, we'll have 2,400 guests and almost 3,000 people. That'll be the biggest event that uh, the South Bay has seen um, in probably a year and a half. What are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm most looking forward to that time right before they walk across the stage when I selfishly get the opportunity to look across the field and see these faces of our graduates, the, the loved ones that are in the stands, and then you start to realize, like, this is what it's all about. You know, it's been a tough couple of years, but you made it through. There's got to be some sense of just joy. The, there is more joy that can be contained by this massive gown right here. We are uh, excited and uh, I just feel so privileged to have the opportunity to celebrate with these uh, very well-deserving young men and women. Okay, guys, class of 2021, it's the day is here. Tell me how excited that you guys are. I'm really excited. It's actually a really fun day. It's really exciting for everyone. Yeah, I'm just glad I got done with school, made it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy we actually got to get an actual graduation going. 
in spite of this, all the events this year. It, tell me how it went down today as far as going out there and, and practicing before tonight so you guys know what to do. How'd that go? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was really busy. Yeah? <laughs> it was a lot of us trying to, Dr. Kuykendall trying to tell us where to go and stuff. It seems, it's been a long time since I've seen the whole class together. Yes, and I mean, how cool is it to be here with all your friends and taking pictures and just having a good time? Uh, it's really awesome. Okay, wh what's the big plan post-graduation? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just getting dinner with my family. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, we're super excited. Super excited. Yeah. And we're so lucky to have a real graduation this year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really grateful yeah. that we can have an in-person graduation. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm super excited. Did, did you guys practice it earlier? Tell me how that went. Yeah, we had a rehearsal this morning. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are the post-graduation plans tonight? Um, uh, family dinner. Dinner. Family dinner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then which for you guys, now that you're back to school, which teacher will you miss the most and why? Um, for me, it's Mrs. Cheyenne. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Ms. I'm, I'm going to miss my psychology, AP psychology teacher, Miss Leonard. And why, what, what about them will you miss the most, do you think? Uh, Miss Cheyenne was just really sweet. Yeah. She really cares for her students, and you can tell that she genuinely cares for her students, like, as a teacher. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. And how about for you? Uh, I really like Miss Leonard because I love the atmosphere she has in her classroom and she just makes it such a fun environment to learn. I have personally looked forward to just seeing all my classmates one last time before we all go off and do something with our lives. Well, as you think you've seen <laughs> just about everything, yeah. but one of the yeah. students yeah. that you uh, interviewed I mean, even had a dog. To, yes, it's uh, just brought a dog. Like you said, spend the last few minutes or hours this with my boys, has survived especially my friend Grayson, you know, okay. Okay. athlete of the year. Supportive. Wow, really? There you go. She felt like he deserved nice. to be up there yeah, just like she did. Did you guys practice the whole walkthrough? Tell me about that. They were terrific. They were. Yeah, we did a rehearsal earlier today. Okay. Yes. It was a lot of fun. That's right. I'll be at Peninsula, you'll be at PV High, and they will be down, the so the old-fashioned sit out okay. in the hot sun graduations a little bit later but I know the students are very excited for that and I know we're with you for summer but I have a little too excited quiz for you <laughs> okay and that is tell us the name well, what are the of big three post -graduation mascots graduation plans for all three high schools tonight. in the California district okay well Can so Peninsula High would be the Panthers PV High would be the Sea Kings and right here at Rancho Del Mar probably the bird of Rancho Palos Verdes I'm just I'm just gonna hang out with friends Peacock. tonight, okay. uh, have yeah, a good time. Nice. Uh, students what their uh, I mean, I put in an order yeah, for uh, catering with Kane, so I'm gonna eat some chicken tenders. <laughs> 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 exactly <laughs> right. I'm going out to dinner with my family. Right, so you and will be at Palos Verdes High School, so enjoy nice. all of that over there, and I'll Just catch up out with some a little bit later in the show at my Peninsula. Students are it's incredible, always great to be with honestly. you, and you as well. They've been put through so much, obviously, with the pandemic, and this year they really rose to that challenge. I've never seen so much resilience, so much uh, warmth, even through a screen. Uh, they impressed me like every day. And then uh, what was it like for you when they started coming back to school and you actually had them back in the same room together? It was incredible. You can ask them to see an actual hand raised in the, hair, <laughs> in the air instead of an uh, icon was amazing. I never thought that would give me so much joy. You know, it's funny, just walking through campus, I'm getting goosebumps. This graduation day, it's hard to believe it's here now. Tell me what's going through your mind right now. Yes, yeah, so I teach calculus and I have seniors. And it's so amazing to see all these uh, students who are so accomplished. And I'm just so happy for the future generation and how much they bring to the table. I'm really just full of pride. Now, it's really cool that you guys also have your graduation outfit. Tell us yes. about that. Um, so I recently got my master's from Cal State Long Beach. Congratulations. Thank you. And so I'm wearing my master's um, gown. But everyone, no matter what level of degree they have in the staff, wears their own gown. Okay, and then one other thing I noticed is there are so many, I think this is like the year of the selfie. I've yes. never seen so many people <laughs> taking pictures together. How many have you taken today? I've taken two. <laughs> <laughs> one photo bomb. <laughs> Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's climb. It's a crazy year to graduate. I think they went through a lot. 
and they worked really hard. I mean, we all worked really hard to adapt to the situation. So this is really like a culmination, a celebration. We're all here together. We're having, you know, a, a graduation together in person, which is just, it feels really good. It feels yeah. really good. How about for you? Amazing. It's really incredible. Just the fact we came to this far uh, when we, we didn't know what's going to happen. Uh, the fact that how resilient the kids were, how, you know, admins, all the teachers here just like adapted as quickly as we can to make sure that kids can get, you know, a quality education during this time. And then seeing them right now and standing and then having a, in a sense, normal graduation. Yes. It just feels surreal. It does. You know, I think that's a really good point is just the fact that we're back to normal graduation again, especially after last year. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know that they rehearsed this morning and they'll be out on the football field. How do you think that's going to feel for you guys? I mean, I just, some of these students I've known since they were freshmen. Yeah. And so to see them come to this point and see them, it's such a celebration. I mean, it's such an accomplishment. Um, and I'm just excited for what they're going to be doing with their future. It's, it's been an inspiring year for me because things have been rough, you know, personally and in the news. But seeing what these kids are capable of, seeing how they're able to adapt, it's just, it really kept me going this year. How about for you? You know, when, when you look at these kids, how far they've come, uh, these kids, some, they, they struggled a lot when it comes to, uh, they felt like they were let down, they felt like, uh, they had all this set up, it was taken away, and then now trying to cope with reality and how we're coming back to normalcy little by little, how consistent they were, how how much how much faith they put on the teachers. Yes. That means to make sure that we can, you know, uh, in a way salvage the remainder, the remainder of the year. And and I saw, I'll say, same as this close here too, I, I have known some of the freshmen here, some of the seniors here, because when they're freshmen, being able to see them dressing dressed in all gowns. Yes. Being able to, you know, now being able to see them walking the football field, graduating, is absolutely incredible. You it, know, something that we, you know, the seniors couldn't do last year, now we can do it for, you know, this year's seniors. It's definitely, in a sense, we're comp you could say it's comp we feel, we feel compensated in a sense. Kids yes. feel compensated. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, something else I noticed, maybe you all had noticed it too, is this has got to be like the graduation of selfies. Everybody <laughs> taking pictures together and, you know, they can immediately do it. How many pictures have you guys taken today? I mean, I'm out here taking pictures. <laughs> anyway, I, I show up so that I can take pictures with people and just have those memories and post to the social media and share that with everyone, not just the people here at Peninsula, but people out in my family, my my friends because it is a big part of my life and I love sharing you know the students and the people I'm proud of with everyone very true how about for you especially when everything's kind of over probably go walking around to some of the seniors I know taking pictures with them yeah um just yeah I mean looking forward to you know seeing them uh and then being just the fact that we were part of we are now part of their memory yes that, that, that old chapter that's been closed it's just incredible and yeah. To add, I went to Peninsula, I graduated, we both graduated from Peninsula, and I still have pictures with some of the teachers that are still teaching here, and I look back at them, and I love sharing them with the teachers. So it's just those memories, you hold on to those, and there's only one day like this, your high school graduation. And this has got to be a little surreal for both of you then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, it just feels surreal. You know, we are alumni here. Uh, being able to come back to our, our home campus, being teachers when we were former students and then you know walking together with our former teachers you know and then teaching the students right now it, you know, it's like coming circle has come back well it was a windy but wonderful graduation celebration here at peninsula high school almost 600 students graduated and a big congratulations to all of them i'm maria sorreo for liz brown swanson and we'll see you next time around the peninsula